What's good, YouTube? We are back with another video on the OEM Plus YouTube channel where I am the car enthusiast that does not have enthusiasm. And we just got another quick banger for you guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about the air suspension that is on my 2021 BMW G80 M3. Now, you guys probably seen the reels, shorts, whatever, whichever platform you follow me on. So I wanted to give you guys a review, critique, good, bad, um, everything about the setup and yeah pretty much how i like it how i don't like it whatever the case may be um so let's go grab the action camera and head over to the spot and talk that talk let's go All right, guys, just found a nice little chill spot to show you guys the car. So, yep, yeah, here we are. The 2021 BMW G80 M3. Uh, so, yeah, I am on air suspension. And this is not, this is just my riding height right now. So, as you guys can see, um, pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty chill, not too crazy. Uh, so yeah, what I want to do is just kind of give you guys a walk around and talk about the kit, the company, uh, what I think, pros, cons, should you do it, um, and yeah, hopefully give you guys some some value and so you guys can have a better understanding of what to expect if you were to get air suspension on your BMW G80, 82, 83, 87 platform. So let's start with the trunk, trunk setup. Trunk setup isn't too, too crazy. Yep. Grab the keys first. All right, yeah. So trunk setup isn't too crazy. I didn't go balls to the wall. Just wanted the kit in there. So you can kind of see it here. Got plenty of trunk space to do my little organizer kit here. And yeah, company is Grinds USA. They are Started out as a German company, but now they're starting to branch out and bring their products to the United States. So I wanted to give them a shot. Again, I like to try things so that you guys can, I like to be a guinea pig. I like to try new stuff to my own detriment, but it is what it is. Um, I hope, you know, hope you guys get some, can appreciate that, but wanted to try them out. And you know, it was, it was good. You know, they're a great company to work with, great product. Uh, great customer service and yeah so on to the kit itself the kit is you know pretty much replaces the whole strut assemblies of course 30 30 weight dampening front and back and you know it's, it's a good kit i like the what i do like about it and i, I would just kind of break it down into this so this is what i 
what I like about it. And then I'll give you guys the cons and then my overall impression. So this is what I like. Thumbs up. I like the management. The management itself is pretty awesome. Very easy to use, very easy to navigate. I can control it on my phone, which is cool. I'll show you guys that. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, this is the Grinds app on the phone. And you can see, um, so let's say if I, hold on, maybe I gotta, I gotta reconnect it, I think. <laughs> So yeah, this is the Grinds app on the phone. And so you can see here, uh, if I want to, you know, bring it down, I can, or bring it up, or air it all the way down. Let's air it all the way down. Presets, raise it up. So yeah, these are my presets. 40 up front, about one, 110 up in the back, and that's what you get. So yeah, the ease of using the app is pretty awesome. You can change all of that, all the gear, all, all the uh, pressures here. You can turn off the compressors if you are doing maintenance and you need to unplug something. Uh, you can just flip the switch here and turn that off. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty easy to use. I use the phone probably more than I use the controller. Um, so yeah, management is great. Customer service and product, you know, relations, I should say, it was awesome. Uh, working with those guys, but it has been great. Um, you know, even when I ran into some issues, you know, they were, they were willing and able to help out and make sure I was uh, all set. So let's talk about, I guess, the bad. The bad. This is the bad. So being that I'm a driver, I love driving cars, like actually experiencing driving cars. As you can see, I have a manual um, and it's M3, right? So I like to drive. I like to really have driver engagement. I've had a lot of different cars where that was a primary focus, where I had my Evo 10, was built for track and more of a auto, not auto cross, yeah, auto cross. Um, and time attack type type so it was on rails suspension was great uh when i was stationed overseas really got into driving with the the stis the 96 sti that i had i had a, a r32 skyline and stuff this is way back in like you know 20 2008 so it was a long time ago but so yeah you know i like to drive i like to experience cars i like to have the driver experience with that being said on this car this is why I bought this car. Um, after tons and tons of research, watching tons and tons of videos, I realized that wow, like even from factory and even from driving the car itself, from factory, like this thing was was dialed in. You know, the suspension was, was pretty solid. Um, it drove amazing. I lowered it on AST Springs and it, I couldn't be, it was amazing. Like I loved driving the car, it was super fun. Um, with all the electronic dampening and adjustability and just how it felt, it, 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 it gave you confidence, right? So that was great. So I've had bags on other cars before and I was like, well, maybe, you know, I tried on this and, you know, it didn't really affect my driving, um, driving, drivability or comfortability before. It should hopefully be the same on this. So got bags and not the case not the case at all this drives totally different um do i like it no to be quite honest and i also think it's because being that i put a roll cage in here it brings my driving position forward so i'm at a more driver focused position in the car thus that makes I feel everything like I'm more engaged while driving. I'm more, you know, I'm not like leaning back or just kind of like chilling. And, you know, I think being that in that position, you, you, you notice everything, you feel everything, everything matters. Right. So, um, that was a big issue. And so it's, you know, it's a very bouncy ride. I don't like that. Um, I've adjusted dampenings all over many, many times, but it's just, it's very bouncy. 
It's not uh, in the turns. It, it handles decent, but you still kind of get this, when you start to push, you still get this little bit of a, kind of like feeling like a roll. And, you know, I, I don't know. I just, it just doesn't make me feel confident. It doesn't make me feel, you know, um, sure of the car anymore. And that bothers me, right? It looks great when it's aired out. You know, it looks fucking phenomenal. Uh, everybody loves it. Super cool for shows. And that's that's great. But I want to really drive this car. You know, I, I really want to, like, take it out. I want to take it on long drives. And, and I just want to not worry about it. And uh, I think on air and my experience that I've had on air on this specific car is just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And so let's talk about my quote unquote experience. So the rear bags from Grinds, they had this flat mounting surface solution for the spring replacement. So the bag that replaces the spring mounted flat. Well, on the bottom of the, where the spring perch is, it's not flat, it, it's, it spirals downward and they have the little bracket, you know, all the little rubber part that um, goes into the, the metal piece and all that fun stuff. So the, the bag didn't sit secure. It was like kinking up and like damn near like, like it's gonna like bend and pop out. And so didn't like that. So what I did, reached out to AirTag. I hit up another individual who has air suspension on his M4 and he told me he used AirTag. So I reached out to them, got a set of their rear bags. Their rear bags mount very, very securely. Uh, gave all the feedback back to Grinds. Hopefully they do some something to fix that. But um, that, you know, now it mounts very well and it, it's, it's solid. Not really worried about that. Fits great. <clears throat> but again, that's just something you, you just, you know, when you start getting in this car over and over and over again, fixing the same shit, like it, it, it's like, come on, man. Like, you know, it gets a little annoying and you know, especially with something where you have to deal with air and pressure and, you know, maintaining constant pressure, it's it's a little nerve wracking, right? So that part, I don't really like. Again, long-term driving, lot, you know, driving long distances, I don't think I would be very confident and comfortable in this car. And I don't want that. I want to be able to drive it. I don't care if it's low and scrapes and all that stuff, but at least, I can drive the damn car and you know get it to where I needed to get. Um, so that's gonna be a big thing. So you know, long story short, what's my overall take on air suspension on your G80? <clears throat> I mean, there are people. There's people out there. A lot of guys that have air suspension on their G80s. I do. I would love to hear their feedback, honestly, because it seems like a lot of those people. They don't drive the car that much. Uh, seems like, you know, most of them just kind of just throw a lot of money in it and, um, you know, just goes from there. Um, and then it kind of just sits or they might take it out for short drives locally and stuff like that, or trailer. Uh, I, I don't, that's not me. I don't want to do that. That's not who I am. And, you know, no, no, shade, no shade to them. You know, that's what, that's what you do, that's what you do. Cool, cool. I'm just thinking of my preference. But yeah, um, definitely not something I'm gonna keep long-term, um, you know, and then it is what it is, you know, hopefully, that's why I wanted to make this video so that you guys could, you know, hear it from the horse's mouth and understand that, you know, it does change things. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's my actual setup as far as, you know, the company that, I, that I'm using. I don't know, I'm not gonna buy another set of, um, air shock or air strut components and test that theory. That's, that's just too much. I don't get paid for this YouTube shit. And no, I'm just not doing that. So I don't, I can't, I don't have the comparison uh, for you on that regard, but just off of this doesn't sit too well with me. So I'm gonna, you know, probably move on from air suspension here in the near future. I'll let you guys know what I end up doing. And of course, you guys will be there when I put it on and get the driver impressions of that. Uh, but yeah, all in all, you know, like I said, to wrap it up, great company, great support. You know, I, I love what they're doing. It's pretty awesome. Um, 
again if you if you if you like air suspension and you know and you don't you might not notice some of the things that some other people notice then you know go for it i mean it, it turns heads everywhere people love it especially when it's aired out at the show like it's just crazy so um have at it hit them up you know you, you know i can give you my con you know code or whatever you get some some money off and all that stuff and get your kit but i just wanted to report to you guys and give you guys some feedback and you know that's pretty much it so let's wrap this up all right and that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys got some value out of it and some insight so you guys know you can make an informed decision as far as if you're going to go with air suspension on your bmw g80 82 87 all the other 80s that they come out 83 whatever you know just want to get, let you guys know so um again let me know what you think in the comments drop a you know if you got any questions if i didn't cover anything you want to know further just drop it down in the comments i will get back to you asap and you know that way you know you get as much information as possible um again thank you grinds usa for providing and you know pretty much sponsoring you know the you know partial sponsorship of, of the car and, and getting the products on here i hope that i you know did you guys a service of you know especially getting you guys some pictures and video content and stuff like that again this is this is a pref preferential video so i'm just giving you guys my insight and what i think um for me specifically based on how i operate my motor vehicles so that's gonna be it for today guys see you guys in the next one keep doing what you do and we out